Cardinal Hollerich, how do you evaluate the meeting you had with the Holy Father today and what, what were the main challenges uh, he gave to you? So it's always a great joy to meet the Pope. And when you meet the Pope and you speak about the European Union, you notice that we have a Pope who loves Europe and who has a deep knowledge of the mechanisms of the European Union. And it's vice versa, because when I'm in Brussels, I speak with politicians. They all have a great admiration of Pope Francis, especially for Laudato Si and Fratelli Tutti. And if I say all, it's not limited uh, to uh, the Catholic people. Uh, so the Pope gave us hope to continue to work for Europe in dialogue with all, so the politicians of the different colors, uh, and we also received the warning that Europe not should fall in the trap of populism. You know, that's something uh, very important uh, to Pope Francis. So it was a real cordial uh, atmosphere and my vice presidents, the Apostolic Nuncio to the European Union who accompanied us, the Secretary General, we were all very happy with uh, this short meeting. Glad to hear that. One of the major concerns of the Pope is the access of poorer countries uh, to um, corona vaccines. What about that? What, what can the Church do and what should the European Union probably do uh, to get mm. uh, better access for poorer countries yeah. uh, to the vaccines? Uh, so I think politicians will do because politicians have understood that citizens of Europe are not in security if not all the people of our global village are in security. So it's in the self-interest of Europe to help. And we, of course, have the motivation that we know that all these people are created and loved by God. So we have the obligation to tell politicians to share. And I think they will do. It was also one point of the common declaration with the US bishops to encourage politicians of the rich world, to use uh, this expression, to share with the poorer world. The urgency of economic recovery post-COVID uh, may overshadow the ecological uh, challenge we also face. And in this context, what, what can we as Christians do um, in order to help to uh, emerge better from the crisis? So I think first politics has to do something. We are in, in a period of transitions and we need an ecological transition which centers the focus on ecology, fighting climate change, but at the same time doing it in a just way, in such a way that poverty will not grow in this world. And that's very important. I think we, for ecology, we have to change our lifestyle. Because the Pope and the Synod of the Amazon called us to conversion. And conversion, which is always conversion to Christ, means to have such a lifestyle that we live in this common house of this earth in such a way that all people can live here and can be happy. So that's a big challenge for us. We have to change. All people living happy here, let's switch over to the topic of migrants and refugees. Um, you know, uh, a topic very important also to Pope mm -hmm. Francis. Um, the, the crisis of migrants is still there. Um, in Europe, but it doesn't really look like it's, it's being treated. No, I think uh, we're in a very bad situation, in fact, now, because the European Union is acting, but not for the sake of the refugees. So we, as Commissaire, we strongly criticize the camps at the outer border of the European Union, be it in Bosnia, 
be it in Libya and so on, these camps are just not human. And they are, let's say, administered in such a way that people who can ask for asylum have no chance to do it. Uh, we know that in Lesbos, people still live in their tents. It is awful. It is unhuman. It's a shame for Europe.